Opioid painkillers, commonly called opioids, are powerful drugs used to treat pain. Opioids include drugs like Vicodin, Demerol, Percocet, Dilaudid, Norco, Vicoprofen, Suboxone, Oxycontin, and Tylox. Opioids are known as drugs of abuse because of their addictiveness and the sense of well-being they give when used improperly. This is because they're very similar to heroin and opium. Opioid painkiller pills may contain other substances such as acetaminophen and ibuprofen. These can also be found in drugs such as Tylenol, Alka-Seltzer, Sepacol, Dayquil, Nyquil, Panadol, Robitussin, Vix, Excedrin, and Sudafed. Using these drugs or using alcohol while on opioids may lead to an overdose or liver damage. So be careful when taking other drugs that you have at home and avoid drinking alcohol while taking opioids. Opioids will relieve your pain for minutes to a few hours depending on the drug used. Beyond relieving your pain, your drugs may make it difficult for you to see, make you sleepy or dizzy, or cause blurred vision. Because of this, you should avoid driving, operating machines, swimming, signing legal documents like checks, or supervising children on your own while using opioid medications. Opioids can also cause constipation, so make sure you have a stool softener like Dulcolax on hand. Opioids may slow your breathing, cause minor skin reactions, or even serious allergic reactions. These can be serious and fatal if too many pills are taken at once. Opioids are known as drugs of abuse. In 2010, there were over 400,000 emergency department visits because of injuries associated with opioids, and this number continues to increase. Only take your drug like your doctor advises. Ask questions if you are not sure how many pills to take or how often. Keep track of when you take your medications so you don't take too much. Opioids can lead to dependence or addiction. Taking too many pills or taking pills for too long can increase the risk of developing an addiction. Ask for help if you notice restlessness, new pain, or feel like you have to have your drugs after a short period or a missed dose. This may indicate dependence or addiction. Over time, your body will get used to the drugs and they will not work as well. Talk to your doctor about this instead of taking more pills. Earlier we talked about an overdose occurring if you mix opioids and other cold medications or pain medications like Tylenol. There is also concern if you are taking drugs such as benzodiazepines like Xanax, Valium, Ativan, or Versed because these can also slow your breathing just as opioids do. Using both of these drugs at the same time can increase the side effects and are dangerous. So let your doctors know all the drugs you are taking. Talk to your doctor about methods you are already using to manage your pain. This can include healthy methods like physical therapy, yoga, exercise or chiropractors, acupuncture. It's important to keep your drugs safe and secure so no one else can access them. Your medicine cabinet or unlocked drawers are not a safe place. Instead, consider using a lockbox to contain your medications. Over 70% of people who abuse drugs say they started by stealing or borrowing them from a family member or friend. About 10% of high school seniors have used Vicodin without a prescription in the past year. About 5% have abused Oxycontin. This contributes to an estimated 2.1 million people in the United States who abuse opioids. So it's important to make sure that only you have access to your drugs. Experimenting with opioids is often the starting point for abuse of multiple substances like alcohol or heroin. Managing your pain is important to your doctor, but you may have more pills than you need. When your pain is gone, do not keep your opioids for a rainy day. Return the pills to your pharmacy 
or throw them in the trash after mixing them with coffee grounds. Hopefully through this video you now know how to safely use your opioid medications. And more information about the proper use and handling of opioids can be found on the medicine label, your discharge instructions, or online. For more information on your prescribed opioid medication, please visit the following websites by Medline Plus or Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, also known as SAMHSA. If you or anyone you know is facing substance abuse or addiction, please call SAMHSA's national helplines.